How often will you be in a tier 8, 7, 6 game? Almost never. Because this tank cannot, they cannot make a top tier. If they make a top tier, it'll be so obvious that it's completely, totally over the top broken. So should you get one? Um, you'll have tier for tier one of the best tier 8s, which you'll love playing in Frontline. You'll love playing it in um, Clan Wars, tier 8 skirmishes and stuff. It'll be necessary almost in Clan War. This one and the Defender. Uh, but will you enjoy playing it in pub games? Uh, you'll be bottom tier almost every game. And if you can put up with being, say, bottom tier 46 games in a row and then getting that one game when you're top tier, if, if you have the patience for that, then, you know, go ahead. If, you, if it drives you nuts to be bottom tier every game, then think about it. That, that's my no bullshit review, okay? The, and the, I can't be uh, any more genuine or honest. I don't sugarcoat it. I, I'm not going to do a spreadsheet in garage review and dab the two key and show you how good I am. Um, that's how it's going to work. You're going to be bottom tier almost every game. Idiots are buying all the premium tanks, getting Wargaming. <laughs> hey, I'm happy. But don't get me wrong, guys. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying don't buy it. I'm happy when uh, lots of people buy the tank because Wargaming makes money. And um, and they make a profit. And then the, the game continues. And most of the player base, uh, most of the regular schmoes, I'm uh, for the regular schmoes, they get to play for free. Because a lot of people... It's a business. They need to make money. So, you know, they make money and then the, the regular guys can keep playing for free. If they didn't make money, then the regular guys wouldn't get to play for free. They'd have to, you know, figure out some other way of making money. So, but my advice to you is if you're, if it bothers you to be bottom tier all the time, uh, then you, you probably won't like, you won't enjoy playing that tank. That's my prediction, right? I was spotted 10 seconds after he... Someone else must have spotted me. Okay. <clears throat> That's kind of the best I can give you as... Um, Oh, the EBR spotted me, guys. That's who probably spotted me. An invisible EBR. It's like the... Def I'll give you an example in-game in right now that... I know I'm not uh, helping my team, but I'm so fragile on this thing. Let me give you an example. Like uh, uh, when I play the defender, I'm almost always in a tier nine or ten game, and I always feel uh, inadequate and I don't enjoy playing the defender. It's uh, you know it's it, it, it's uh, tier nines and tens can just annihilate you if you if you're in a defender. Uh, but when I play something like, hey, uh, Balloman is now uh, hosting me. Thanks, buddy. Let me try and do some damage here. Uh huh. So when I play, my, what was I going to say? Yeah, when I play my defender, I'm. I, I don't enjoy it much because I'm always in a tier 10 game, okay? Uh, but then I'll take out a tank like that uh, T-42 that I just showed you, the American one, the new... Uh, the American T-42, or um, let me think of another one. Uh, uh, the Pilot, or some underwhelming tank, some tank that you'll look at it and go, ooh, it, it, you know, it doesn't look so good. Uh, and I'll play that one. And I'll be top tier, uh, 8 out of 10 games. 
And even though the tank is uh, more underwhelming, I enjoy it because it's uh, it's more balanced for his tier, and I you know I'm not frustrated all the time uh, being bottom tier. You know you know the tanks. Um, you you guys have played. You know the tanks in your garage that you just seem to always get decent matchmaking and you enjoy them. Uh, here's one, the uh, Kanonen Panza 105. I play that one, and I'm I get really good matchmaking almost all the time. So I enjoy playing. It's a tier 8 premium tank, right? Uh, I get really good matchmaking with it. I play the defender. Can't stand it. And it it's ironic because you go, I go on and on and on about how great the defender is. Go on and on and on about how great the defender is, and then every game I play in it, I feel like uh, you know I can't help the team because because I'm fighting against uh, object whatever the fuck's at tier ten. Tracked, guys. Hit. He's tracked. I, there's nothing this tank can do versus tier eights. That's what the uh, I guess what I'm saying, without you know, without any bullshit, guys, the matchmaker is the biggest um, balance. The matchmaker is the biggest balancing uh, tool in this game. The matchmaker is what balances tanks, not so much the statistics. Spending a fortune here. Enemy armor is damaged. So, I, I mean, the, you can look at the statistics on a lot of tanks. And um, you could say, wow, this one looks good, or that, that one looks really good, or this one looks better. Enemy armor is hit. Critical oh, hit. tracked. Oh ho. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Oh. So you can look at the statistics on lots of tanks and say, oh, this one's good, this one's bad. Oh, this one doesn't have very good pen. Oh, this one's overpowered. Uh, it's got a lot of armor. You, you, can, you can make all those judgments. Steel Guts was the enemy, Type 62? <laughs> you were on your last... <laughs> Poor Steel Guts. <laughs> Let's send him a nice message. Was it really Steel Guts? He didn't have a team. I feel sorry for him. Hey, uh, nice. Let's send the message. <laughs> nice run at the end, buddy. <laughs> That was funny. So you you can you can look at the uh, stats of different tanks and say you know this one's good, this one's bad, this one. But at the end of the day, um, the biggest uh, the biggest balancing feature in the game is the matchmaker. And it doesn't matter if you have you know if you if you roll out in this tank. Ziggy does tanks is here with five subs. Hey buddy, thank you so much. Thanks so much for your support, Ziggy. 
So when you roll out in this, even though you got overpowered everything, it doesn't really matter if uh, you're fighting. Um, if if you're fighting this, right, uh, or you're you're fighting uh, that, right, or you're fighting this. It doesn't matter that you're so good, or to a lesser extent that. This one you'll be able to handle. <laughs> but you, you see what I'm saying? And it's just um, that's the way the game's programmed. They want the game to be balanced, so. Only good uh, mode was Frontline. Uh, well, in, in, uh, I, I made that comment that uh, uh, Frontline and. Um, what's the other one? Clan Wars. Tier 8 skirmishes. You're going to fight only Tier 8, so that's when you're going to see how, how powerful that tank is. You guys play Frontline, right? It's all, uh, it used to be T-54 Modifieds, um, Defenders, Projectos, and the, um, the wheeled vehicle. They dominate front lines. Why? Because they're better than all the other tanks. But then when you play them in pub games, they're all around 50% win rate. Why? Because they're balanced. The good tanks get bottom tier more often. Bad tanks get better matchmaking. So it's the way it is. That's how that's how it's balanced. That's one of the reasons they can't have a skill-based matchmaker. They, they already have a very sophisticated matchmaker that takes into account a lot more than you think it does. I'm just seeing if they have a... Fire away, guys. Is anyone going to shoot? Nobody wants to shoot. Good job, team. Have I got any spotting assist so far? Spotted a Hellcat. Does anyone want to kill the Hellcat? Do you want to kill a free Hellcat? There's a free Hellcat! Okay, team, there's a free Hellcat here. Ziggy does tanks. Thanks for the thousand bits, buddy. Why are you spotting? Uh, because uh, I can do it from a safe distance here. It doesn't require me to put my tank at a lot of risk unless they blind shoot this bush. And then. This is a map. Um, there's a couple of maps where you can do some spotting from a relatively safe location. If you have to move up and get yourself detected, don't do it. Now it's almost time for me to leave. Are you guys going to want to kill a free KV-2? There we go. Whoa! There we go. Want to kill a free Cromwell? Free Cromwell! Free KV-2. Free bug. Free KV-2. Free KV-2 to be killed. So now they're, um, wising up. Good thing that missed. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> he even shot the right bush. Uh, 1,984. That's not bad. 
We're still losing. But at least it secures a decent game for me. Now. Okay, I know where he is. I know where he is, guys. Who is it? It's probably the Type 64. Yeah. He's still shooting. A bugger. I know exactly where he is. He's right there. Except I've got a potato launcher. There. Do you think my artillery will blind shoot this bush? No, these are missing now. All of them missed. Shoot, shoot me through topography? Another target. That empty, he bounced off. This tank is so high that sometimes you think you're behind topography and you're not. It's such a bobblehead, right? Mr. Bobblehead. I'm just getting out detected by... Where's that MT-25? That bugger. 31% concealment, guys. Bullshit. He's right over there still. Oops. That is very annoying. Right there he is. You bugger. There he is. I knew he was there. I can't hit him. Do I have a team? Russia. Russia, guys. Enemy armor is damaged. Enemy I can use topography too. I can use topography. You think you have a monopoly on topography? Huh? I know a little bit about topography. Mr. Bobblehead? Klaus, aim! God damn it. I can't, I can't. <laughs> I can't hit shit. <laughs> God damn it, I can't hit anything. I can use topography, but I can't hit anything. So, how did I miss all those shots? Holy shit. He's, he's in here, guys. I can't hit anything. Wow. Is it my shell velocity? It's my shell velocity. Visualfo. Did I say your name right? Visualfo. Visualfeel. Thank you for your uh, sub, buddy. Switch Prime sub. I need to learn to aim this gun. I, I think it's my shell velocity. 
Let's go get killed by an artillery. He's going to be pointed this way, too. There he is. Invisible. But I know he's fired. Aww. You reloaded yet? Oh, it takes you a while, doesn't it? <laughs> Improve my deflect. Yeah, I'm not shooting premium ammo, so I couldn't hit anything. Okay, I fired nothing but regular ammo there. Let's see if I made credits. I missed so many shots. How many freaking shots can you miss? Hey, another ace. Ta-da! Happy fucking holidays, boys. Did I get some blind spotting? Let's check it out. Super close on top. I think I hit a blind shot. I think I might have hit that guy in that bush. Yes, I did. I'm up over 3,000 spotting. <clears throat> Guys, look at this. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a game where I've got Ace Tanker. I fired 29 shots and I hit 6. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 29 shots. I hit six. <clears throat> Made credits. 3,000 spotting. Wow. Ace tanker. Now you guys be honest. <clears throat> Have any of you ever had a game where you fired 29 shots and you only hit six? And you got ace tanker? Be honest. I don't think it's ever been done in World of Tanks history. I think we've just set a new record, right? I should send that game to Jingles. 